Stephanopoulos is uh, down in lower Manhattan today. George, I don't know if you heard a little earlier uh, me raise this question, which was asked, actually raised by ABC's Jackie Judd as we look at these areas down below and the video of where the towers used to stand and where is all the rubble gone. And have you, have you been able to, and is there any way you can answer that question? I'm sorry, Peter, I didn't get the question. Okay, I apologize. Jackie Judd and several other people keep asking us, when you look at where the towers used to stand, there is surprisingly so little rubble. Where did all the rubble well, go? It's a very good question, Peter, and I have asked some people who've been doing some of the rescue and recovery work this morning. If you look behind me, you can see the very remains, the skeletal remains of the World Trade Center. And one volunteer, Robert Gerlinski, explain to me the reason there's so little rubble is that all of it simply fell down into the ground and was pulverized, evaporated. Now I should say though for the last several hours there's been a steady stream of dump trucks and other very large vehicles carrying out debris including burned out hulls of cars, the burned out hulls of police cars and others. Um, and that's been going on for several hours now. One of the volunteers I talked to said they've been doing it since about 6 a.m. this morning. Secondly, Peter, there's been an increased military presence here this morning. There are many Humvees, those military jeeps, including one with a manned machine gun on top. We have National Guard divisions from the 69th, 258th, the 105th and 42nd divisions. Mostly they're doing crowd control and protection and recovery, but there are some armed guards as well. Peter, I apologize. I've lost all hearing here. Well, I did momentarily. Can, can you hear me, George? If, if somebody could... Try if, that again. George, do you hear me? Now I hear you, Peter. Okay, you just keep talking. Uh, it's wonderful what you're, uh, what you're reporting. It's very interesting. So you just keep talking as long as you want and, and tell us as much as you've learned, and we will try to support you with pictures of what is happening at the time. Peter, I'll do the best I can. I, I think I heard your question, but I'm not really sure. It's sort of going in and out. Let me just try and describe what's happening here. This is one of the main thoroughfares coming out of the World Trade Center, one of the main thoroughfares for the police recovery vehicles, the environmental vehicles, the dump trucks, and other vehicles that have been taking debris out of the World Trade Center for the last several hours. One of the most interesting notes I should add, Peter, is that from the volunteer workers I've spoke to said there has been very little recovery of bodies. I know we heard overnight about the, the very good rescue stories, five or six people found alive, but for the most part they haven't found any bodies at all because the recovery workers feel they're buried so deep into the rubble. Okay, George, many thanks indeed. George Stephanopoulos, are either one of them there at the moment? Okay. We're waiting uh, to talk at some point. This is George Stephanopoulos answering the question, I hope, for many people who've asked it about why there is so little rubble on the ground and, we, and we'll reconnect with him as quickly as we can and because as we watched it so many times on television in the last 25 or 26 hours when these two huge buildings 110 story buildings tall fell onto themselves much of the material that makes up the structure of the building was simply pulverized as it fell upon itself now it is also true we're fairly certain we can say that, uh, th that a good portion of it was driven, at least of the lower stages of the building, was driven into the ground. And I suggest this because we've talked to any number of people involved in the rescue operation who have found individuals or tried to locate individuals who are 40 feet below the surface. So there's a lot uh, beneath the actual ground level that we are not always able, we are just simply not able to see from our perspective. Um, several other